All right, here we are, it's 2.25 in the morning. We got an early start this morning, trying to evade the DOT in British Columbia. Come to find out, towing double trailers is not allowed. So yesterday, we got caught. They made us go back to a parking lot and unhook the rear trailer and told us we could no longer tow it. So we didn't really know what to do, so we took it down to uh, one of the lodges there in town and asked the guy if we could leave it there overnight. So we did. So Tyler and I drove back today, 300 miles back, picked it up, towed it back to where we were, got a motel for the day for the others. And so the only way to get it out of British Columbia now is to try to sneak it on out. So we hooked up and we're headed out at two o'clock in the morning. And we have about 200 miles to get to the Yukon which will be out of the British Columbia area. And um, so that's where we're headed down. So we're about 100 miles from, um, from the Yukon and nobody's caught us yet. So it's kind of a small infraction of the law, but you know, I think it'll work out okay. So anyway, right along in my truck, you can see it's just piled full of crap everywhere. Molly's got the little dog bed there. She's covered up because I'm wearing some heavy clothes, so I got the temperature down in here, and she's cold, so I covered her up. So we uh, drive in the Alcan at night. Um, most everybody says you shouldn't drive it at night because of the animals on the road and the bad weather conditions. It was snow a little bit earlier. The road's still snow covered. Um, but it's really not that bad. If you've ever drove mountain roads before, um, that's what it's like really. I mean, it's got some, it does have some really steep grades, but they're not real long like they are down in the Southern Rockies in Colorado and stuff. But, uh, but it does have some 9% grades that are definitely steep. And, um, and we've encountered some slick spots too, but um, the road actually is, it's pretty good, a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, towing our trailers are so heavy and so much tongue weight that they still just beat you to death pulling them. Um, even on this road here, I mean, we're only running about 35 miles an hour now, but um, but we're making we're making progress, and uh, hopefully we'll get on into the Yukon and not have any more issues with this double trailer thing. So I'm not 100% sure if it's legal there. The research we've done was just for uh, Canada. I didn't actually research the individual provinces. And uh, so as it turns out, you know, Alberta is okay with it. Uh, I believe Ontario was okay with it. Um, some of the stuff I read in one of the magazine articles I have says that British Columbia has reciprocity with your state, so if your state allows it, they will allow it, but that is not what the DOT supervisor told us. She was, uh, she was very rude, very unfriendly, and uh, no reason for her to act like she did. Everybody else we've encountered up here has been super nice, but she was a bitch. So anyway, um, so I thought I'd post this here to kind of let everybody know because we've kind of been out of touch the last day or two because the uh, the phone service all through British Columbia here on the Alcan is um, is poor to non-existent. So most of the time, non-existent. So um, you can kind of see the other guys up ahead of us here running along. Um, but all in all, it's been a really good trip. We've had... Um, uh, one blowout and two flat tires, uh, one on Tyler's trailer, two on Perry's trailer. Um, so far I've been fortunate and uh, haven't had any in, in mind yet. Um, we did put these tire monitors in, you can see that. Um, or I can see the tire pressures in my trailer tires. Um, 
course my truck has a monitor system on it but I still have two of those caps on my rear tires so I can watch my rear tires as well um, it's kind of interesting how much they heat up you know when you stop and it's five degrees outside you know they all cool down and when you take back off again they they build up you know anywhere from 15 to 25 pounds of pressure so so I'd say if one of them blew, blew out they make a big boom I know Tyler's did I was following him when his blew out and um, I heard it, you know, all the way back here in my truck, and I was about this same distance from him then as I am right now, except we were running, you know, 60 miles an hour down the highway, so. Anyway, that's kind of what we've been up to, so. Check out our, check out our YouTube, uh, Mitchell's in Alaska, uh, Facebook as well. Um, keep following us if you would, and um, we're about, I think we're probably about 900 miles from the cabin so i don't know if we'll make it today or not but if not we will tomorrow thanks for watching